Hey, I had a long night of stick cam tonight. It's 3.38 in the morning right now. And then I got off stick cam and, well, I masturbated. Which I guess there's no fear. I'll just be honest with, with you. Uh, and then uh, I played, uh, I, I, I put on some music. I put on the Eagles. And I started to play this Minesweeper, this game. Uh, that I've been playing on my computer. I wasn't planning on telling you that I had masturbated, but then I was telling you about my evening and like, why lie? Right now, why lie? There's no real reason for it other than just being afraid to talk about the truth. Uh, anyway, this game Minesweeper is... I don't know if you ever played Minesweeper. For, it comes with the PC under the games. It's just amazing. I play it put music on and just play it for hours and hours and I just I, I meditate like I my mind I forget I stop paying attention like I understand the game so well now that I just <clears throat> fly um and I want to apologize this has been like this has been a really transitory period of my life Amanda left. Well, I let her go. Like, I, I feel like I, I met Rebecca. I, I thought about having children with Amanda and how angry she would be with the children, how she would yell at them. And I don't want to have kids now. I'm not, like, looking to have kids. But that thought entered, would enter my mind subconsciously at times. And and I didn't want to think about that. That, you know, the woman I'm with, I'm afraid to have kids with because I think that she has so much anger. This has been, it's been a really emotional time, and I've been kind of isolated the last couple weeks. I don't know, the last however long, it's been a while. And I've just been talking about a lot of theory and about a lot of stuff other than how I'm feeling, and I'm, uh, I feel really good, I feel really distracted right now stoned down I'll clarify I said I'm stoned now well mildly I mean it's 3.40 in the morning so it's like a mixture of having smoked weed and having just being up really late um I've been avoiding eye contact a lot in this video, I just realized, because I'm afraid of talking about this, this transition. Everything is like, dude, my life is so different now than it was a year ago. I got some messages from some people that said, Ian, I, I, I loved watching your videos. I used to be so into your videos, but recently I'm having a hard time following what you're saying. And I don't want that to... I mean, it's a good warning sign when you get a couple messages from people saying that. And it's easy, you know, you could just have a tendency to say, well, pay attention and keep going. But there's a balance, and I think I'm... It's been getting so extreme with, like, you can do anything, manifestation critical thought mass controlling our reality and not a lot about me and what I feel and I'm kind of scared about this it seems kind of overwhelming to do this by myself it's been a while since I've really opened up about my fear uh, I used to talk to Amanda about it but then it would get to a point and she would get angry And so I came to YouTube and started doing it on YouTube. And it's amazing to watch myself talk about my fear 
and listen to myself, but still to communicate about it with someone is different because it's like an added force of consciousness. And I've been hesitant to open up about my fear with people, with Rebecca, with David, with Dominic. I mean, I have been doing it. It's just so easy to get caught up on how how you can make the the moment really great by saying how great it is all the time. It's so easy to do that all the time and forget about the past and my past and my fears and my, my, the people like my parents and there's a wedding for my good friend Connor in May, May 5th in Ohio and I'm going to go back to that and reconnect with all those people. I haven't been back to Ohio in like over a year since the a year ago from Christmas. I haven't left Los I haven't left like California since then. And my family, I don't miss my family, but communicating with them is is pretty amazing. My dad my dad, Tim that he's just you know he knows what I know and then more in so many ways of course then I guess I know what he knows and then so much more I feel like I know him very well and it's it's a shame when people put their relationships with their parents on hold it's not a shame it just happens I did it I do it still but no, but I, fo I face my fear with them, and I say what I think, and get to know them as people, not as parents, not as someone I'm afraid to tell the truth to. I just tell them everything. They are my sounding board. But then so am I. So are this video. I am my own sounding board, and so are the people around me, my friends. They are my sounding board. I really want to... Maybe it's just the weed. Maybe it's smoking too much weed. It's hard for people to follow. And I do videos at like fucking awkward hours, like 4 a.m. I was going to do a video when I came home from work about this, about like emotions. And like, I'll probably do another one when I get back from work. Bef before I smoke weed, if I, maybe I'll take tomorrow off of weed. Get in touch with a little bit of balance. Dude, Max is in town, my brother, I don't know if I told you that, He's uh, he just moved to Los Angeles, or he moved to California, he's going to live in Carlsbad, and he's staying with us for a little while, before he goes down there. Max is my brother, he's 25, he's the middle of three. He's incredibly intelligent. Um, that's all. I want to just kind of reconnect. My God, it's been so long. This transition, I really felt good when I was talking about how Amanda, I let her go. I had this feeling of goodness come over me, how I was opening up about the, how this is a transition. I'm just going to let the fucking, I'm nervous about the video and how it can only be 10 minutes now. I can't get a more than 10 minute account, it seems like, because... Because YouTube is not offering that, apparently, anymore. And I think my CrossMac account still has it. But I guess I'll just cut up the video. I hate breaking up the flow, but I'm not going to cut my fucking video short. I'm not going to cut my thoughts off for the sake of brevity. It doesn't make any sense. We can accomplish more if we loose our restrictions on each other. Come on. It's the same file size. Under 100 megabytes. What does it matter if it's 30 minutes or 10 minutes? Cap them all off at 30 minutes. Let people make video. I, uh, so I'm just going to let this flow a little bit more about this transition. And 